Lords of Christ. Welcome to Saturday of the 30th week in the ordinary time, year two. It is truly a great thing to serve the Lord, not just as a priest or religious or someone specially called to a distinct ministry, but in the way we live our lives. The followers of the new way were for the first time called Christians in Antioch because they lived as brothers and sisters. Because the concern of one was the concern of all. To be Christian means, therefore, to live like Christ, to become another Christ to those who have not met the historical Jesus. In the first reading of today, taken from the letter of Paul to the Philippians, chapter 1, verses 18 to 26, Paul tells us, of his great desire to embrace either life or death for as long as it will serve the Lord. As he says, it is my eager expectation and hope that I shall not be at all ashamed, but that with full courage, now as always, Christ will be honored in my body, whether by life or by death. For to me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Paul was writing on the background of his condition. He loved the community in Philippi, which was the first church in Europe. Philippi was a Roman town on the road linking Europe and Asia. The Romans had settled their army veterans there. So the town enjoyed a special status. Paul, however, at the time of this writing, was under house arrest, awaiting his trial, which he was almost sure will end in death. But he was at the same time enthusiastic about what God had accomplished through him. Particularly, he had lived a life worthy of his Christian calling, and is certain that his death will mean going to meet the Lord for his reward. It is in this certainty that Paul tells the people that to die is gain. He says that his desire is to depart and be with Christ as the best option. But to leave is to continue the work he has been doing. Unfortunately, there are too many Christians who live as if the world is their final abode. While Paul rejoiced at the possibility of death to gain eternal reward, too many people are sad at the thought of death because they know that it will quicken their punishment. Or to say the least, they see it as a denial of the passing things of the world. Everyone wants to go to heaven, but no one wants to die. Today's gospel is taken from Luke chapter 14, verses 7 to 11, and teaches an important lesson. Jesus noticed how people were choosing the important seeds at a function. This is the same way many people rush for earthly things and forsake the heavenly. Jesus taught them to allow the one who invited them to give them the place of honor, lest they be shamed when asked to change their position for a lower place. Seats are not allocated on the day of the event. Those who merit honor are known before the award ceremony by what they have done. Paul recognized that, and it will be the same on Judgment Day. The rush for a particular seed is not a guarantee that you will have it, except you merit it. Your place in heaven will be ready before you get there. How well have you worked with the grace of God on earth? Let us pray. Lord, Help me, like St. Paul, to live for you so that we may not be afraid to die for you. Amen. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs>